Gardens Real Estate Alliance Group, and she's here to tell us what both buyers and sellers are looking for. Good morning, Dot. Good morning. You know, it is it is kind of a romanticized thing to live on the water, whether it's on the beach as of the of an ocean or along the river or lakefront. What is the draw to lakeside living? Gosh, I think that again, it's an aspiration mm -hmm. because it's a limited opportunity, true. right? You always want what you don't have, and because of the rarity of lakefront properties, bayside properties, riverfront properties, mm -hmm. I think that's what draws drives that kind of desire and that dream. Okay, what are some of the tips or ideas that you would give to potential buyers of lakefront property? Yeah, so unlike you know a traditional home in mm -hmm. an established neighborhood, there are special considerations when you're looking at living on the water. Right. You know, the big one is how are you using the water? Are you a boater? Are you a swimmer? Because um, you're going to want to know is that water accessible year round, um, part of the year? What is the condition of the water throughout the year? Mm -hmm. um, how do you get to the water? There's a lot of restrictions on you know docks and access and buildings. So so there's just a lot that goes into ownership when it comes to lake properties that you just need to take the time to navigate before you decide to pursue that. Not only those things, but I would imagine whether going through a bank or credit union or, you know, talking to your, your insurance people, there are some differences that go along with that too. Yeah, absolutely. Because a lot of times a lake home or a waterfront property is a secondary home for you. Okay. And so your financing opportunities are different. A lot of times it demands a higher down payment. Um, insurance might be something that's a little bit different. I mean, keep in mind you're near the water, mm -hmm. so you have to consider the opportunities for flood or inundation. So just a lot that goes into it. I mean, but it's happening and people really enjoy the time that they get to spend on a, a waterfront property. You know, I, we have some friends that live right along the east coast of the, uh, along the Atlantic Ocean in Florida, and it's amazing. You hear the waves crashing, and it's one of those things, you know, you can get apps that, uh, that are good for sleep like that, but there's nothing like hearing the real thing. And I would imagine just the, the, being around the water is very comforting for a lot of people. If you're selling a home along the, the uh, a waterfront, is, is there a better time than another to try and, and make that sale? Well, absolutely. I mean, the opportune time if you're selling or buying a yeah. water property is when you can use it. True. And so think about spring as being mm -hmm. the opportune time to market your property so that people can purchase it, close, and get out on the water right away. You know, but there are opportunities to sell water properties throughout the year. The big consideration there, if you're asking agents in our office like a Gail Flom or a Becky Adnes, their suggestion is keep in mind access. So a lot of these are seasonal in nature. Sure. So if you're listing in the winter, is the road to the property going yeah, to be plowed so exactly. that you know prospective buyers can actually access to tour it? Okay, but I would imagine if you're going to sell it in the spring so that the people can, you know, you can make the sale, you can get the buyers in fairly early in the season. There are some things maybe in October and November if you're going to sell that you can do in preparation. Oh, absolutely. So if you aren't going to be selling until off season, take some pictures or invite your agent to come out point. and capture your property in its prime, which is in the summertime when flowers are full bloom, the lawn is nice and green mm. and lush, and you've got that water view um, from that perspective. That can help you in preparation for a listing, even in the winter time, to showcase what it looks like during peak season. Yeah, all right, we're down to about half a minute, but are you know, we live along the Missouri River uh, around here. Are th are those plentiful uh, selections or is that something that is rare to find a, a home for, for sale on that situation? I mean, it's really kind of hit and miss. Right now I did do a, a poll to find out how many water properties are available in the Bismarck Mandan MLS. And we've got 23 active listings. So if this is something that you're interested in pursuing, reach out to an agent in our office, you know, myself included, sure. and get a sense for what is available. Um, I mean, it's a process. So start now, ask the right questions, find an agent to guide you through it. Okay, make sure you put that hat on. It's supposed to get kind of warm <laughs> today. And put on some sunscreen, will you? Absolutely. All right, Dot Frank, thank you.